can someone remind me, how do I work out an average? Don't worry about these particular numbers, just averages in general. Anush, what do you reckon? Add all the numbers together and divide by how many, however many there are. Add all the numbers together and then divide by however many there are, which in this case is? Three, okay. Now I think we're generally okay with dividing numbers, but it ends up being the adding, the first step that Anu's mentioned, that's the hard part, right? What's hard about adding these three numbers together, Louise? They all have different denominators. They all have different denominators, which is slightly gross. That's actually the design of this question. So we can do something to change the appearance of the numbers so they do have the same denominator. What are we going to do? Make them. Ooh, now you could turn any of these into percentages. You also could change any of them into decimals. But I'm going to suggest for these particular numbers, that will probably be less helpful rather than more helpful. Can anyone suggest to me why? Even though we could, I'd prefer not to. What did, Jessica, you can't kind of, not really? What are you thinking, Young? Because 2 You're going to be there for a very long time, aren't you, if you keep writing. And what do we call this, by the way, when the decimal, it just, it's recurring, very good. What about this one, over 7? 0.71. Uh, it, it also recurs over and over and over again. In fact, this one over here is the only one that stops. What's it called when it stops? It starts with a T. It terminates like a train, right? So 0.25, that one's okay, but the rest of them are kind of gross. So I'm going to suggest we actually keep them in fraction land. What can we do to help? Anush. Excellent. So when we have a look at the denominators, the denominator is the part that matters. The denominator is the part that makes it hard, actually. We want a number that is a common multiple of 4 and 3 and 7. Has anyone worked out what it is? I, say it again, yeah? 84. Where did 84 come from, by the way? If you take all three of these and multiply them together, you'll get 84, okay? Now that's not the only way, but it is an easy way to work it out. Louise, do you have a thought or a suggestion? 42. Is 42 a multiple of... It's a multiple of 3 and 7, but not a multiple of... Four is it? Which is close. Yeah. So before you get there, before I take your different way, can we finish this first way, and then we'll come and see if the other way is more helpful. Let's try and get these out of 44, shall we? Uh, sorry, 84. What do I multiply this by to get it over 84? The top and the bottom have to be all multiplied by a number. 21. By the way, do you see where 21 comes from in the question? It's the other two denominators, right? So that's going to be 21. Are you happy with that? I want this one to be over 84 as well. What do I multiply the top and the bottom by? I'll be 28. 28, which I get from the other two denominators. What is 2 times 28? 56. Oops, 56. That's very messy. And then the last one, to get that over 84, what do I multiply by? 12, right? 5 times 12? 60. Okay, you can add those. And then what was the thing that Anush said right at the beginning that after I've got the sum, what do I do? I'm going to take all of these guys and divide by 3. Very good. And I'm actually pretty content that you guys will be able to do that. I just wanted to get you over the hump. A lot of you couldn't get to this step, and that was the challenge. You can add those, divide by 84, divide by 3, and then you'll get an answer. Has someone got an answer for question 2? Has someone got a final line? Levan. 8 over 5. Can I get any agreement or disagreement with that? Did anyone get a different answer? No, Leon's nodding along. Okay, 8 over 5. This just takes a bit of perseverance. This one, you can see I've done the first step for you. That's a half. And then you just keep on going. Okay. Last one. Did anyone get any answer for the last one? I see one hand. Two, three. Leah, did you get an answer you wanted to share with us? You got four. Now, who agrees with four? Yep, happy times. Okay, really good. Um, it is four. I wonder if any of you remember when we were back at percentages, one of the nice things about of is it means multiplication. And multiplication, you can switch order. Do you remember that? You can switch the order around. So 16% is really 16. What is percent an abbreviation of? Does anyone remember? Percent. percent. It's, it's out of 100, right? So that's out of 100. And then you're multiplying that by? 25, and you can just change this order, right? So it's the same as 25% of 16. Do you remember doing this? This is a while ago, which is 4, which is a lot easier to work out.